We started our two and a half hour journey to Nafaktos, Greece, from Athens, to meet up with our good friends Chris and Sia. We crossed a massive bridge to get over to Napaktos from Petrus. This aerial shows a scope of how big this thing really is. It's amazing and an engineering marvel here in Greece. It took us just a few minutes to cross the bridge over onto the other side. Just about 20 minutes later, we're in Nafaktos. This is just to show you the cobblestone walk to our hotel from our car. Families enjoying the summer breezes and the summer air of Greece and just hanging out and socializing. The hotel was a bit of a walk from parking, but was virtually one of the nicest boutique hotels I've ever stayed in. And let me tell you, the view was to die for from our room. Pictures that I got from the hotel's website because I forgot to take some internally. The breakfast they served was phenomenal and included in the price of the room. To find out, the room had one drawback. Both Kara and I were wondering why the room came with earplugs. Hmm, gotta question that. Thought it was because of the traffic outside moving down the street. Boy, were we wrong. Below our room were two bars. Not just any bars, the most frequented bars in town. Not to mention, I don't think Greeks sleep, especially the ones that went to those two bars. From about 2 p.m. till about 4 a.m., music, screaming, laughing, talking, cars, more, blasting from the people below. 
Although I have to say, the room was very well insulated and really didn't bug us as much as I thought it would. But be careful, if you stay here, it's very busy. And if you are disturbed, easily disturbed, that is, this may not be the place for you. And by the way, the staff here was awesome. If you need a quieter place, there is one down the road that we stayed at later. It's called, I may be saying this wrong, but Apollon Library Suites, which was very quiet, kind of off the beaten path, and it was a really nice place and really comfortable to stay in. But of course, it was slightly pricier. It was awesome to watch the Greek sunsets from our balcony. It was also wonderful to just go downstairs, walk out, go to any restaurant of amazing Greek food. Kara and I would go for strolls around the city at night and find music, people along the walkways, enjoying food and the atmosphere. times we came upon these artists playing for tips and pure enjoyment of entertaining others.
there were many places to get snacks, food, and whatever you wanted to eat, from ice cream, gelato, all along the streets. Not to mention souvenirs. The walks were enjoyable, the architecture wonderful, the lighting impeccable. It was a beautiful night here in Narfaktos. Soon we would go back to the hotel and retire for the night with enjoying our first day here. Here's a piece of the video showing back towards our hotel here to the right. Also on top of the hill up there is the fort which we didn't really explore the fort, but we did walk up towards it and have uh, desserts and drinks up there, which was, uh, the view was impeccable. Here's the night view from our balcony of our hotel room. All those people down there don't go to bed. I could stay here all night and watch this. It's incredible. Thanks for tuning in on this video. I appreciate it so much. Can you please subscribe and like? And we'll come out with more videos. Thanks again.